Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about why you should get Audible. Uh, the benefits of listening to books, all right? So on this channel, I like to talk about reading. I like to recommend books. I talk about things that I've learned from different books as well as books that I have listened to on Audible. But why you should get Audible is for this reason of you can use it on your downtime. You can absorb more knowledge and you can absorb more of the book itself from just hearing it, from just hearing what the author is talking about if the author's reading it or if somebody else is reading it. So there's um, a lot of variety with Audible and uh, it's pretty cool actually. I do like Audible just for the fact that I can save my books. So there's a benefit there. If you have a membership with Audible, what they do is they allow you to keep the books that you download, but not only that, you can also trade and switch out books if you want to listen to something else from a different author or a different book that you've had your eye on for a while. And that's a really cool benefit with Audible through Amazon. Uh, the other thing I like about Audible is that if I don't want to pay month to month, but I want to keep my books in my library, this is what I do. If a book really stands out to me, if the author really stands out to me, if the message that I'm getting from the book and what I'm learning from the book really stands out to me, I'll keep it. I'll keep it on my phone, I'll keep the book, and I will revisit it and listen to it over and over again as time goes on. Uh, now, with that also being said, I don't like every single book that I listen to, nor do I like every book that I read, per se, but if there are parts of the book that I'm listening to or that I've read, and I really got something out of it, dude, it's definitely worth keeping, in my opinion, and referencing it later. As well as just uh, one of the benefits of reading is that I like to highlight and mark up my books if something really stands out. And I also like to use it in my talks when I get on my channel, you know? So that's another benefit of Audible. The other benefit of Audible is different listening speeds. So like, for example, uh, in the last video I talked about I'm learning frame control from the book called Pitch Anything by Oren Claff, and I'm listening to it at a 150 speed. So you can crank this all the way up to 2, 250, and you could just burn through books like crazy with, uh, with also keeping in uh, the fact that if the book is particularly long, if it's like, say, a six-hour book, if I listen to this, if I listen to this book specifically on 1.5, on 150 speed, uh, I will finish the book in no time. I can finish it within days. But it also depends on how well you can keep up with the author and what they're talking about or whoever's reading it. So that's another advantage with having Audible and listening to books um, as well, listening to audio, audiobooks. Uh, <clears throat> And it's great for commutes if you're driving, if you're driving on road trips, if you're driving for work, long distances, versus just listening to a podcast, listening or watching a YouTube video, you know, when you're driving, people do that too. Uh, you know, and you don't always have to be on Spotify pumping music, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, you make, your, make your car a university. Learn something from your books that you're listening to and use it to your advantage. Uh, one other thing that I like to do with Audible is if I have a hard copy of the book, but I also have it on Audible, what I like to do too is I like to listen to the book while I'm reading through the book at the same time. And then I will take times where I'll stop, pause where I'm at, highlight or mark up, underline some paragraphs or sentences that I really reside with and that I like in the book. So. Yeah, guys, if anything, get Audible today. Get it for your phone. It's definitely worth it. Uh, if you don't want to pay a monthly fee, you get to keep the books that you have listened to and that you want to continue to listen to as time goes on, like I've said before. And um, I think that it's a great investment. I think it's a great investment in your time as well. You know, And I think it will really benefit you in the long run. So there's that. So, guys, this is why you should get Audible. All right. If you're just finding me on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.